domestic air and domestic sea travel to and from Metro Manila shall be suspended beginning March 15, 2020 and to end on April 14, 2020. Sunod-sunod na araw, nagtala ng record high o pinakamataas na bilang ng COVID-19 cases ang Pilipinas. Sa sumampa na sa higit 6 na pung milyon ang kabuang kaso ng COVID-19 sa Amerika. Sa nakalipas lang na isang araw, higit 290. Nakama para sa COVID-19 ang unang inilaan ng Cagayan Valley Medical Center. Pero sa nakalipas na linggo, walang patid ang pagating ng mga pasyente. Nung isang linggo, pinilahan. COVID-19 or pandemic. It really changed the way of how people live or how people survive. Good morning, ma'am. I am Ban Aldrich Abi from BS Hospitality Management 2. The tourism industry is very different now than it was the, then because of the pandemic that came. Many have changed in today's time. Tourism continues to be one of the sectors hardest hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, particularly for our countries. COVID-19 affected in many ways agriculture and businesses that were declining due to the pandemic. Just like a tourist spot, just like in Boracay, we know that Boracay is one of the most famous tourist spot in the part of Luzon. The number of the tourists has decreased because of the pandemic. Sometimes it also oh, almost closes because it's rare the tourists who go. Many of us also went bankrupt due to the pandemic. We know that the pandemic will also end and the tourist industry will be revived and tourist spots throughout the Philippines will return to the former vigor. COVID-19 has really changed the society. As we know, it was just a few months ago working from home, social distancing, masks and countries across the globe is on the brink of an economic crash. In the minds of pandemic, we need to adapt the new normal. As human beings, our eagerness to travel is very high. Because of this pandemic, we cannot go outside and travel. But when the lockdown is totally over, we need to adapt the safety and healthy protocols that the government implements. In connection that as we travel again to different places, we need to careful enough to handle our own safety as we suggest the solution to how tourism will survive in the in to implement the cautious and paperless contactless transaction it is better because we prevent the possible contamination of disease. <laughs> 